Welcome to one of the seven wonders of the world. Petra is one of the most visited ancient sites in the world. And in this video, let me tell you everything you need to know about visiting Petra. All right, so we just made it into the city of Wadi Musa. We're ready to start exploring Petra. It's night right now, so we're just gonna go get some dinner, find a nice spot to eat, and then doing the hike in the morning. All right, so we got some mansa. It's the most traditional Jordanian meal. And this is the sauce to put on it. It's basically lamb with some rice, and it's usually slow cooked for about 24 hours. This is supposed to be like a yogurt sauce. So that restaurant was actually so good. We did the mansaf. It has such an interesting taste. It was honestly so good. I didn't even know what to expect. It's a really good place actually. It's a great place. All of the places here are going to be expensive. So just watch out for that just because it is one of the seven wonders of the world. But you have to eat somewhere. So now we're going to be heading to probably Petra's most popular bar. It's called Petra Cave Bar. This is actually the oldest bar in the entire world. Experience at the cave bar was really cool. It's just a nice little bar to go into. It's a cool experience knowing that you're at the oldest bar in the world. But now it's time to go back into our hostel. We're staying at the Petra Cabin Hostel, which is I think the cheapest one there. It's probably the best thing you can get just for a cheap night. It's 12 dinar for one night. And it's just a five minute walk from the entrance of Petra. So if you want to stay here, I'd recommend staying there. All right, but now we're up nice and early in the morning, ready to do the Petra hike. It's included in the Jordan Pass if you have that. And the park opens up at 6.30. They're gonna recommend you do a tour guide if you want it with a tour guide. It's 50 JD, like for your group. And then also at the start, you can take some horses, which are free of charge, if you wanna do the ride with horses, or you can do it just walking like we are. When you start getting in between these cliffs, the hike just starts becoming so crazy. It just looks so insane. It's so nice to hike. And every once in a while, you see a little bit of engravings on the side of the stone, and it just looks so nice. To get in, all you need to show is your Jordan Pass, and then you're basically in. And then you get a ticket. They scan that ticket at the entrance. Make sure you have a lot of water because the city is actually really big. You can walk through all of it. It's not just the monastery. And just in case you were wondering, no drones are allowed here. Getting to the treasury is actually really quick. It's only like 30 minutes away from the entrance and it just comes up on you like randomly. You just see it through the stone and then it's just right there. Got our headscarves on now. We bought them in Amman, but then we saw them in front at the gift shop. They're only one JD. If you want to get these, they're actually just one JD right outside of Petra entrance. And if you start the hike at like 637, you'll be able to get here without the, any of the tourists yet. It's so dead. We got so many photos just to ourselves and it's just us and the treasury right behind it. This place is actually so insane. You can go up pretty much any ledge and you see so much stuff. You can tell this city was crazy and this city actually dates back to 312 BC. What's even crazier is that only about 10% of it hasn't been discovered yet. And you can just go on like ledges like this and you have an entire view of the rocks back there. You see the whole city, like a bunch of parts of the city right there with the caves. Camel on the loose. He's on the loose. After the treasury, there's still a lot of hike to go to get to the monastery. But on the way, there's a bunch of cool things you can see, like the great temple. You can also see a bunch of just caves and things engraved into the walls. And honestly, just a, such a massive city. It's so cool to see. And you probably need a full day here to explore everything. After that, the next stop is the monastery. And it's just one path going all the way up from here. And when you start getting higher up, you start seeing a lot more gift shops along the way, basically meaning you're getting closer. 
All right, it's a difficult decision. We got this one and we got the pest view in Petra. <laughs> Which one are you thinking? This one. The hike up to the monastery though is actually an uphill all the way, a bunch of stairs compared to the rest of this. So just something to keep in mind, it's definitely still worth it. It's not too difficult to actually do it. It just takes about an hour and a half from the treasury to the monastery, I would say. But it was a hot day and the heat definitely gets to you. So all those stairs start getting tougher the higher up you get because it's just so hot. probably just choose both views it's just left side or right side whichever one's your good side that's what you get of the monastery it's low season so there's not that many people but it's still a lot more than we had in the morning which was basically no one so make sure if you're coming here i would definitely wake up at like six seven well i would be here for seven probably the latest yeah if you want picture perfect no one in it definitely worth it to come here at 7 a.m and just get like this most amazing picture all by yourself around petra if you want to buy any like souvenirs or stuff like that i would definitely recommend going closer to the monastery because they're cheaper when you get there don't get the ones close to the treasury and you can always come back because it's the same path both ways also don't trust the little boys selling stuff they just try to make so much money and the one right after the treasury quoted us 50 jd for something that we ended up buying for 2 jd if the sellers are trying to get you to make like a rash decision and they tell you you have to take this picture now or else the sun is going to ruin the picture in like five minutes not true it looks exactly the same all day long also one thing i said at the start of the video that probably isn't true the horses and the camels and the donkeys that take you to there it's not free you definitely need to pay for that if you had to give someone one tip for petra what would it be definitely bring more water than you think yeah we had two big ones of these killed them both petra is honestly such a cool experience once in a lifetime definitely recommend seeing it but there's a lot more scamming going on here so i would be cautious of that but that's it for this one leave any comments or questions you have so i can answer them in the comment box below and the next video is going to be such a cool one i'm so excited for it it's the last one of the jordan series please like and subscribe and i'll see you again in the next one